to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. Please remember this is a general reading. Lots of people, lots of questions, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now looking at today's general yes or no reading, we are going to have reading number one with the Moonstone, reading number two with the Jasper, reading number three with the Sodalite, reading number four with the moss agate and reading number five with the serpentine please select your reading intuitively your intuition is not going to lead you wrong all right i'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now so i will see you guys there Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the Moonstone. The properties of Moonstone are peace, travel, and balance. So those things may have some bearing on your question or they may just resonate with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot yes or no to the questions of group number one okay so i'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready then i will cut and we'll deal straight from the top taking three to six cards that will get us our yes or no answer okay so thank you thank you thank you to the guides angels and ancestors all right, here we go. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, so we start with the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands talks about victory, celebrating your victory. That's a wonderful energy. Next, we see the wheel. The wheel talks about luck and fate turning in your favor. In this deck, it's represented by a medicine wheel, so it can also have some healing aspects to it. Next, we see the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups can talk about not seeing what's right in front of you or maybe seeing things the way you wish they were versus the way they actually are. Next, the Nine of Cups. That is wish fulfillment, a dream come true kind of energy. And then topping everything off, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess talks about your intuition functioning at a high level. Your intuition is on point. Follow it. Trust your instincts. All right. This looks like a pretty solid yes to whatever you ask tarot. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number one, please. Thank you. Thank you. King of Coins. All right, the King of Coins can talk about abundance coming in. It also has, the, if it, it can also represent a person. If it represents a person, this person wants to be the person that takes care of everyone around them. They want to be the person that people come to when they need something. Next, we see the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords talks about moving on from situations of the past. It can have a note about bringing baggage with you from previous situations but in this deck the swords are not in the boat so it is most likely that you've already done some work in that area page of cups that's about fun and socializing spending time with friends engaging in social activities 
And there's that high priestess again. The high priestess, it's, it's about intuition. It's saying that your guides are talking to you on the intuitive level. So stay open, stay connected, follow those intuitive guidances. It's going to be important. You're making steps down your path right now. Now let's get Oracle for everything. So angels for group number one, please. Thank you. Thank you. Be content. It is very important to be content and even grateful for everything that you have. So be content with what you have, grateful for everything in your life. That brings in more things to be grateful for. Now, let's see Moonology with the six, for the Six of Swords. What is there for the Six of Swords? The energy is gaining momentum. So you are moving forward and the energy is picking up. You're making a lot of strides forward in your life right now. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon. We're going to start with the Page of Cups. What is there to add to the Page of Cups here? Ooh, hunger. You guys have a need, like almost like a hunger style need for a little bit of social interaction. It's time for you to have some fun. Make sure that you schedule in some fun into your life. Some time with friends, some socialization, some fun because you're kind of hungry for it and it's an important aspect of life. Now let's see the king of coins here. Ooh, extremes. Okay. So if this is talking about abundance coming in, it's an extreme abundance. If it represents a person interacting with you or you interacting with others, that idea of wanting people to come to you, wanting to be the person for others or be the person for a specific other person, there is a significant energy behind this. So it's kind of just recognizing that that energy is around you right now. Now let's see the spell casting oracle for the high priestess. What is there to add to the high priestess here? All this intuitive knowledge coming in. Strength. All right. There is a wonderful strength to your intuition, to your connection to spirit and the universe. And it is not to be ignored. So whatever you are feeling on the intuitive level, that is what you need to follow. You need to trust your intuition. Now for the transparent tarot, ooh, inspiration. All right, the answer was pretty solidly yes, and it has something to do with inspiration. So either inspiration is gonna come in to start whatever you're asking about, or the yes itself might be inspirational for you. All right, that is all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the Jasper. The properties of Jasper are stability, wholeness, and perseverance. Those things may have some bearing on your question or they may just resonate with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no to the questions of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, let's see here. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords talks about a stalemate, stuck energy, a situation where you can't really see your way out of it, um, just kind of the idea of being stuck. Next, we see the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles talks about being appreciated for your work. So being appreciated for your work and then topping everything off, we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups talks about looking at what has been lost or what you feel like has been lost without focusing on what you have to be grateful for what you still have. Okay, so looking at this as a yes or no, this looks like a no to whatever you ask Tarot. 
Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we start with the Ace of Coins. The Ace of Coins talks about a new beginning of a material nature. This could be getting a new job, it could be starting you know, a new career in general, or possibly getting a promotion or a raise or something like that. The Ten of Wands, so situations have been pretty overwhelming or are still overwhelming for you guys. We'll get Oracle and see how you step out of that. The Five of Swords, that talks about worrying. There's some worrying going on here. Again, we'll get Oracle for it. And the Three of Swords, that talks about heartbroken energy. Really sad, heartbroken energy. All right, so I want Oracle for everything. Let's see how you guys deal with this because you guys seem like you're going through a lot. Now, angels, guidance for group number two, please. Thank you, thank you. Gratitude. Okay, so this Five of Cups, it talks about looking at your losses versus looking at what you have to be thankful for. Gratitude is the best way to break up that energy. You guys have a lot of heavy energy going on. Gratitude is going to be your key to kind of ending some of that. Just listing the little things that you have that you're grateful for. Start with the air in your lungs or the sunshine on your face or, you know, just whatever it is that you have that you're grateful for. Start with little things and just work your way on from there. Gratitude is going to help bring up your energy. Now, let's see Moonology. We're going to look at this Three of Swords to start off. That's heartbreak. This could be the end of a relationship. It could be the loss of a job. It's something that's probably already happened, so you guys know what it is. For the Three of Swords, you're told to be bold. Make that first move. Step out of that heartbroken energy. You know, you felt it. You can deal with it. And, you know, be bring that gratitude in for whatever there is in your life to be grateful for. Be bold. Make those first moves to end this real sad depression energy. Now, let's see. And obviously, when I say depression energy, I'm not talking about a diagnosis. I'm talking about the feeling of being sad and, you know, you know just kind of being down in the dumps. And you can bring that energy up with some gratitude. Now, let's talk about the Ten of Wands. Don't let pride get in your way. All right, so when you feel overwhelmed, there's kind of this idea of, you know, being too proud to ask for help, being too proud to share your burdens with others. Don't let pride stop you. If you're going through something, it's time that you share it with other people, whether you talk about it, whether you ask for help, it's time for you to kind of get beyond that pride so you can deal with that overwhelming situation. Now, with regards to the worry in the Five of Swords, trust. Okay, so you need to trust yourself that you've got things taken care of, that you're going to be able to overcome whatever's in front of you, and also trust the universe. Trust your guides. They are with you on this path. I know you've been going through some stuff, but you it, it is going to get better. You know, it's going to get better. Things are going to improve, so you need to trust that things are going to get better instead of worrying that they're going to get worse. Now, let's see the Ace of Coins over here. Healing. Okay, so on the financial material level, you guys are healing. There's a new start coming in that's going to have a positive impact on you materially, so that looks really good. Now, for the Transparent Tarot with regards to the No... Answers. Okay, so I, I feel like that no probably isn't a great answer for most of you. Um, but that being said, it does look like it's the answer to whatever question you asked. So I hope that things get better for each and every one of you. Trust yourself. Trust the universe. Bring that gratitude in. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Things really are going to get better. All right, that is all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the sodalite. The properties of sodalite are awakening, insight, and inspiration. 
Those things may have some bearing on your question or they may just resonate with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, let's see here. All right, we'll get this to hold the cards. Okay. So we start with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups talks about looking at things the way you wish they were versus the way they actually are. Um, it can also talk about missing something that's right in front of you or the universe trying to give you something that you don't quite see. Next, we have the Chariot. The Chariot talks about forward motion through your drive and determination, your energy moving things forward. However, in this particular deck, those horses are not moving, they're stuck. There may be some blockage here to you moving forward. Next, we see the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles talks about forward motion and um, really giving and receiving you moving forward through gifts or moving forward through receiving of gifts. Next, we see the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords talks about moving forward, but there's there's lots of movement here. Um, the, the moving forward, however, you're bringing baggage from the past with you. So moving forward, but not really moving forward because of circumstances of the past. Then we have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords talks about heartbreak. Um, significant heartbreak, dealing with heartbreak, that sort of thing. And then topping everything off, we have the Six of Wands. So now you have three sixes in here. You have the um, Six of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Six of Wands. So you may be seeing that angel number 666. Please know that's not necessarily a negative number. Um, you can look into it, see what it resonates with you, what the guides are bringing through. Um, doesn't have to be a negative number. That is kind of something that um, it's just picked up along the way. Now, as far as a yes or no, I think that um, there is, there's some positive energy here. Like the six of wands is victorious. The, um, the chariot can talk about forward motion. It can talk about, um, you know, making progress. It just doesn't seem like there is that progress. It seems like something is kind of holding you back. So I think the answer is probably no, at least for right now. Now, as things progress, it may, it whatever you're asking about may happen for you. But at this current point, the answer looks like it's probably no. Now, let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number three. Thank you, thank you. All right, Ten of Cups, that's the happy home life. It may suggest that you guys are moving or um, just have a wonderful, peaceful home environment, which is fantastic. Now, what else? The Five of Coins. All right, the Five of Coins can talk about fear of loneliness or it can talk about fear with regards to financial things. We will get Oracle, see how you deal with that. Justice, that talks about balance, the need for balance and fairness. And then the Ace of Cups, a new beginning starting that is emotionally fulfilling. Some kind of emotional connection starting something new. All right, now let's take a look at Oracle for everything. So angels for group number three, please. Whatever's in their best benefit. Silence your thoughts. Okay, it's time for some of you to meditate. Kind of silence some of this worry. Silence some of the, you know, yeah, some of the more difficult thoughts or the racing thoughts to really connect with your guides. Now, let's see moonology on this five of coins. 
What is it they can do to step out of this fear energy? Work through your fears. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess that's kind of um, a given, but it's important whether your fear is about money or it is about um, loneliness, whatever it is, wherever this fear is coming in for you, it's time to work through it. It's time to deal with it. This baggage that you've brought forward with the um, situations that you've moved on from it's time to it's time to deal with it. It's time to really truly move on. Now let's see Queen of the Moon, and we're gonna start with justice. What is there to add to justice here, please? Patience. So balance is coming in, as well as justice and fairness. You know the things that need to be righted will be righted, but you have to be patient. It is the universe moving at the speed of the universe. Now for the Ace of Cups, what is there to add to the Ace of Cups? Abundance, okay, beautiful. So you're starting a new beginning that is emotionally fulfilling and will bring in abundance. So who doesn't love to hear that? That is fantastic news. Now let's see Spellcasting Oracle for the 10 of Cups. What is there to add to this 10 of Cups, which is the happy, peaceful home life and possibly even moving? family. Okay, that is something to be grateful for. Having a happy, peaceful home life filled with family is something absolutely to be grateful for. So if that is you, make sure that you have gratitude at the forefront of that. And this doesn't have to be biological family. This can be your soul family. This can be your tribe. You having peace and having a tribe of people that love you is something that is so important and so worthy of gratitude. Now for the transparent tarot, and I know it's up and down, you know, there's, you know, different things in here that could go both ways, but I just, I feel like really the answer is probably not right now or no. With the six of wands being on top, you know, some of you may be very happy about the no, but there's some kind of blockage to energy moving forward. So the answer is either not right now or no. What is there to add to that? Psychic abilities, okay. So this talks about your intuition knowing, you know, so take this however it resonates with you on an intuitive level. You have a connection, your guides are trying to talk to you directly, that's why you're getting that silence, your thoughts. So whatever your intuition says about this is gonna be on point. So pay attention to your guides, you have the ability to talk, connect with your guides, and they are trying to bring in guidance. All right, that is all I have for reading number three. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the Moss Agate. The properties of Moss Agate are harmony, balance, and serenity. These things may have some bearing on your question or they may just resonate with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, let's see here. There we go. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay. Looks like we are starting with the Phoenix. The Phoenix talks about a second chance, rising from the ashes, getting a second chance, um, rebirth, all things wrapped up in the Phoenix. It's actually the judgment card, which is specifically second chances for you to redo things that you wish you'd done differently. Next, we see temperance. Temperance talks about balance, balance of passion and emotion, significant balance. 
Next, we see the world. The world talks about completion, something coming to completion that is important to you. Could be the end of a karmic cycle, the end of a lesson, or you completing something that's significant. This is all major arcana so far. So this is kind of a um, significant segment of your life or a significant question you're asking here. And then topping everything off, we have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords says there's a beginning here, but you have to take action. You have to step into it. You have to choose it. So this is a pretty solid yes to whatever you're asking Tarot, but there's probably some action you will have to take to step into it. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, two of wands. So that talks about partnerships growing and flourishing. This can be romantic partnerships or creative partnerships like work partnerships and that sort of thing. Three of swords, some of you dealing with heartbreak. All right, we'll get Oracle. We'll see how you deal with it, how you step out of it. Three of Coins. The Three of Coins talks about being appreciated for your work, being appreciated for the energy you put in. Normally it's material appreciation, so possibly getting a raise or a promotion based off of the work you're putting in. And then the Six of Wands, that's victory. That's wonderful energy, celebrating your victories. All right, let's start the Oracle off with Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number four, please. Whatever they need to hear. Withdraw. All right, there is some situation in your life where you need to withdraw. You need to draw back from it. You need to give it some time, give it some space. Um, I don't know what this is related to. It was like a for your best benefit, but there is something you need to withdraw from. So just take it as it resonates. Possibly this heartbreak is involved in it. Um, just kind of withdraw to yourself a little bit in whatever situation in your life that's applying to. Now, let's see Oracle on the Three of Swords, which is the heartbreak. I really feel like these two cards are associated with each other. Um, what can they do to end this heartbreak? The energy is gaining momentum. Okay, so you are coming out of it already. You're dealing with it. You're moving past it. Whatever it is you feel like you've lost, whatever's got you heartbroken, um, whatever situation, whether it's a relationship that ended or a job that ended or whatever it is, it is you're gaining momentum to get over it. You need to kind of withdraw from the energy of the, from that you know heartbroken energy, and focus on gratitude to bring in a new, more stable energy. You've got wonderful things you're going to be celebrating here. So not everything is lost. In fact, that's the only um, that's the only card that has kind of any negativity to it. So just you know the let's let's look at the celebrations in the six of wands out of Queen of the Moon. Self-reflection. Okay, if you go back and look inside yourself, you know, withdraw, go inward, do some self-reflection, you're going to find tons of things to celebrate. Now, it's important to do this self-reflection every so often because see how the water's up to her neck? Um, water represents emotion. She may be just treading water, trying to stay on the um, emotional stability path. And dealing with that while she looks perfectly fine on the outside. Make sure you're dealing with your emotional stuff. Make sure you're dealing with this heartbreak so that you can move through it. You're going to be successful at overcoming it. Now, the two of wands, the partnerships flourishing. Power. All right, there is a powerful partnership in your situations. This could be, um, it could be creative. It could also be romantic. So take it however it resonates for you. But there is a partnership that is growing that's going to have a significant impact on your life. Now, let's see the three of coins. That's being appreciated for your work. Healing. Okay. So this may be the universe saying that, that you are going to be appreciated for the healing energy you're doing here. You guys are healing. You're moving forward. You've completed something. You're getting a second chance at something important. So transparent tarot, which looks like a yes, freedom. Okay, so it is a yes, and that yes is somehow connected to your freedom, somehow connected to setting you free. All right, that's all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. 
If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the Serpentine. The properties of Serpentine are intuition, desire, and transcendence. So these things may have some bearing on your question or they may just resonate with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, so let's see here. That's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, so we start with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles talks about abundance coming in, significant abundance. Next, we see the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles talks about, it can represent a person. If it does, the person wants to take care of everyone around them. It can also talk about significant abundance coming into your life. So there's some real significant abundance energy here. Next, we see the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles talks about making decisions about how you're going to spend your money. Um, kind of walking that financial tightrope, trying to figure out how you're going to make ends meet. That may be the energy you guys are currently dealing with. Next, we see the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is about paying attention to details. It can also say someone's paying a little extra attention to you, maybe through social media or something like that. Next, we see the wheel. The wheel is luck and fate turning on in your favor. This is also a medicine wheel in this deck, so it has some healing aspects to it. And then topping everything off, we have strength. Your strength is going to show up and be there. You've got the strength to deal with whatever is in front of you. Okay, as a yes or no, this, even with the like two of pentacles talking about kind of that financial struggle, the abundance definitely outweighs it. This looks like the answer is probably yes to whatever you ask tarot. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number five. Thank you, thank you. All right, the fool at the beginning of a journey. This could be something, this could be a beginning where you're jumping in kind of without even looking. There is a significant beginning in your life right now though. The moon, that talks about fear around decisions. It can also say your guides are talking to you in your dreams. Your guides are trying to provide you guidance to help you make these decisions. So relax. Don't let the fear overcome you. You will be able to make the decisions as they confront you. Temperance. Wow, look at all the major arcana. There's All three of these are major arcana so far. Um, temperance talks about balance. Balancing passion and emotion. Having a nice healthy balance in your realm. And then the Page of Cups is about fun, making sure you're making time to have fun, spend time with friends, do things that are social. This looks really great. Your situations look really good. Now, let's take a look at Oracle for everything. So, angels, for group number five, please. Archangel Uriel. Archangel Uriel is the Archangel of Wisdom. Wisdom is um, it's knowledge through experience. He is trying to encourage you that you have the wisdom to deal with whatever situations are in front of you. You have the wisdom to make whatever decisions are kind of bothersome to you. And if you need his assistance, he will definitely be there for you. Now, let's use Moonology for the moon. What is there to add to the moon here, please? Take time to breathe out. Okay, so as you're faced with the decisions that you have to make, the choices that are in front of you, take some time to breathe. That can also mean take some time to meditate and talk to your guides. 
take some time to breathe. You don't have to rush into anything. Now let's see temperance with queen of the moon. What is there to add to temperance here? Protection. Okay, so focus on balance and protection. You are protected in your realm. Balance is part of that keeping a nice protected balance. So just you know, make sure that you're focusing on staying balanced, staying grounded, and remembering that you are protected. Now let's see the fool here. New beginnings. I told you it was a beginning. It is definitely a beginning and it's a great beginning. Look at all the springtime energy through the portal and you know it's all winter time around it this is a great beginning for you you may be kind of jumping in without knowing completely what you're getting into but it looks like a wonderful beginning now let's see the page of cups what is there to add to the page of cups this is saying schedule in some time for fun if you need to um, make sure you're having fun beauty yes Fun helps you recognize the beauty in life. Socializing with friends is a beautiful energy. Make sure you're making some time for this beauty in your life. Now, transparent tarot, which is most likely yes. Truth. Okay, so the answer is most likely yes. Um, inner truth may have something to do with it. Your personal truth may have something to do with the answer being yes, but the answer does look like it is most likely yes. That is all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.